So today uh, we're making another video. It's sort of a follow-up video to the one we did last time. We're gonna learn some new stuff. Uh, we're also going to do it on an iPad. There's Liam, there's Quinn. Hello, hello. We're gonna do it on an iPad because uh, some people wondered if you could do it on an iPad. So I'm gonna do it on mine on the iPad. The boys will use the computer. All right. So here we are. Um, I'm going to scratch.mit.edu again. You can just type scratch in a Google search. It's probably the very first thing that comes up. And uh, if you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't, you don't need one. Uh, if you want to create one, get your mom and dad to help you do that. So let's create a new project by hitting create. So we're going to build on some of the skills we learned yesterday. Yesterday when we were programming, there were a couple of times where we repeated something a few times. Like, like sometimes when we had like the banana and we had to like, and we'd copy the exact same code. All right, so we're, we're going to do some stuff. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw away our cat. So I'm going to click on my cat. And then I'm going to push the trash bin to get rid of the cat. Okay. Then we're going to push the little cat with a plus button. So we're going to and create we're going a new to, one. Yeah, we're going to create an, um, a new one. So I'm going to hit plus, choose a sprite, and I'll do a search. And yeah. let's look for boat, B-O-A-T. All right. So I'm going to move my sailboat up here like that. Mm, and you just kind of drag it up there. Now, there's some stuff we want to do at the start of this game. Um, what we're going to do is, let me just see if I can quickly show you what we're going to have at the end. We're going to have Pirate's Loot Game. All right. And it's going to look like this. The boat's going to follow your finger. If you crash your boat, it's going to say, You sunk the ship, you scurvy dog. Look at that. And then it floats back to the start. What you want to do is sail around the island and land your boat where the gold is. Arr, you found me loot. Okay, so that's the way our game's gonna work. Okay, so I got my boat, but there's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen in this game. Every time you crash your boat, it goes back to the start. Every time you get the loot, it goes back to the start. So we're gonna do some stuff. We're gonna go down, we've got these blocks on the side. We've got motion, look, sound, events. At the very bottom, what's the bottom one say? It says my, my blocks. So we're gonna click on my blocks. We can make our own blocks that do things. Okay, so we're gonna make our own block in this one. And this is something like a subroutine, something that you might repeat again and again and again in your program. You don't have to write it out every time. So you make your own subroutine, or in this case, we make our own block. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the make a block button, and we're gonna give it the name, let's just call it start. S start, S-T-A-R-T. Okay, now it doesn't need an input, so it's asking us like, uh, we're just gonna say, okay. All right, so bottom right hand. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, what are all the things that need to happen at the start? The very first thing is this boat is way too big. So we're gonna shrink it down. So oh, where do I, how do I shrink it down again? Who remembers? Oh yeah, looks. Looks. Uh, we're gonna set the size. Oh, okay. So pick up that set size block, drop it there, and I'm gonna set mine to 40%. Where does it say okay. set size? Oh, near set the bottom. Set size to something. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we want our boat to sort of start at the top left. So I'm going to sort of drag my boat to the start at the top left. And you're going to see my X and Y coordinates down. Uh, let me see. Down here and here are going to change when I drag my boat. So I'm going to drag it there. And I'm going to use those two numbers. So I'm going to click on my... Um, sorry, I'm wrong. I'm going to go to motion. And then I'm going to pick up the block that says glide one second to X, Y. And I'm going to drop that block right there. Wait, what is it? Glide one, glide one second to X, Y. Glide. So whenever my program starts or whenever I crash my boat into the island or whenever I get the pirate's gold, we want it to, to run this. And we're going to actually add to this a little bit later. Oh, okay. Yeah. It says my location. Yeah, exactly. It already remembers what location you're at. Okay. We can do some drawing with this program, and we're going to do that right now. So you can draw your own sprites, but that's not what we're about to do. What we're going to do is we're going to draw the stage. Yesterday we just had a white stage. We're going to draw a new stage. So on the right-hand side, you'll see it says Stage and Backdrops. We're going to click on Backdrop, and then we're going to, once we do that, you'll see it changes up at the top, and now it says Code. 
Backdrop. Backdrops and sounds. We're going to click on backdrops. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint Did a big blue ocean. Yeah, it used to say costumes when it was a sprite, but we're not editing the sprite, we're editing the stage. Okay, um, so we're going to use the rectangle tool. Can you guys see the rectangle tool there anywhere? Uh, Down at the very bottom there, rectangle tool, Quinn found it, so we're going to choose rectangle tool. And up at the top where it says fill, I'm going to choose a color that I think looks like the ocean. Now, I don't really care if you make it blue, but here's what I will say. We're going to make one of them light and one of them dark, because I'm old, and old person eyes don't work as well as young person eyes, so I'm going to make a sort of a light blue colored ocean, and that means I'm going to make a dark green island. I don't care what colors you use, but I'm going to do blue. So then I'm just going to draw with my mouse or my finger if I'm on my iPad, and I'm going to stretch this rectangle till it fills the whole background with blue. So try not to draw multiple rectangles, and if you drop it, you can actually just grab, grab one of the anchor points. So watch. Let's... Uh, so you can always stretch it even bigger by grabbing these anchor points afterwards and stretching them, okay? Next thing, we're, we're going to do some freehand drawing. There's a paintbrush tool. Who can find the paintbrush tool? Me. There you go. Oh, click it. There. Once you click your paintbrush tool, then if you chose a light color for your ocean, you're going to choose a darker color for your land. I'm going to do dark green. So you I can just move the color slider, the saturation slider, and the brightness slider to get the color of green that you like, okay? I'm going to make mine dark. And what I want to do here, watch me first. I want to draw an island. I don't want my island to be too big because our boat is going to crash into it. If we do it too big, it'll make the game too hard. Okay? Okay, so then I just draw? Just Yeah, literally just draw out a wiggly island shape. Um, this should work. We're going to choose the paint bucket now. And then just tap inside the shape, and it should, if you're I lucky, you have to fill tap, it in. I just did it. That's great. What happened Probably have to, to click after this. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is, is choose the ellipse tool down here near the square. We're going to draw some pirate gold. So just click on the ellipse tool, that little circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, or oval, whatever you want to call it. We're going to click fill, and I'm going to make my um, gold yellow, but you can make it orange or pink or green or, well, maybe not green. Don't make it green or blue. You can make it any other color because okay. we're going to use... We're going to do some color detection later on. Okay, so you can slide your saturation and your color and whatever. And then, watch how I do it. I'm just going to put some gold pieces down here. Some gold doubloons. Okay, I'm going to draw three pieces of gold. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, you can draw one or two. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. I'm going to draw three. Three? Good idea. Okay, so we just learned how to make our own custom drawn stage. Cool, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna switch back, and did you know our, our stage can even have code, but we're not gonna do that today, but that's another day's <laughs> lesson. We're gonna click on our sailboat now. Okay, so click on your sailboat in the sprites area down here. Yep. And then we're gonna click on code. So we're gonna look at the code for our sailboat again. Code. Okay, and we're gonna click on events. So, um, hey, uh, what's the button we usually push to get everything started? One click. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to pick up that. I'm going to leave a little space between my, uh, my block and my flag because I'm going to add a little something to that block again later on. You'll see what I mean. What's the very first thing we want it to do when we start? We want it to um, shrink by 40% and glide to the start. So Spin now... Over. We're going to use my the block we just built. So we'll go to my blocks, and there's one called start that we made ourselves. And we're literally going to drag it over and clip it oh, on. Oh, the one that says start? Yeah, that's the one we made. <laughs> so that's our very own block, our very own block. It's like if you were able to invent your very own Lego block. <laughs> so now when you push the flag, it should shrink down your ship. So there we go. So there's my boat. It's starting off. When I push the flag button, that's where mine goes to start. Okay, who remembers... From yesterday, if we want it to follow our mouse around the screen, our mouse pointer, or on the iPad, our finger, what do we what do we need to check for, and what do we need to do? We, need to Ooh, we did the, that in the uh, monkey one. Yeah. Mm, sensing. Well, before yeah, even that, motion. we want to do. Yeah, we want to do motion, but we want it. Do we want it to happen one time? Every time. Every time. Yeah. So what do we? Forever. Yeah. Okay. So go under control. Find your forever loop and throw it right there underneath the word start. If I want my sailboat, like yesterday, to 
to always sail towards my mouse pointer, then where do I need to go? Now do we go to the motion? Yep. And which one do we choose? Point towards mouse pointer? Yep. Wait, wait. And I'm going to plop that right at the top of my forever loop. And we'll make it move. So yesterday, how many steps did we make it move? We made it move four steps. Sure. So we can make our game easier or harder by choosing how many steps it takes here. I'm going to do the same as yesterday, and I'll adjust my game to find out if it's hard four. or easy later. So I'm just going to see oh. you. It works, Daddy. It works. All right. So it's following my finger. But when I hit the land, my boat doesn't get broken. Yeah. And when I hit the pirate gold, it doesn't... It doesn't, it. It doesn't congratulate me or anything i'm gonna stop for I feel now like my boat goes too fast what can you tell me about the land that's different than the gold it's a different color it's a different color so we're gonna make it that if our boat touches something green it crashes okay. and if our boat touches something yellow if we want to check something this is a sort of a condition we want to check if something is true where do we look for for the if statement uh control control Yep. The now we're going to check for right. two different ifs today. So yesterday we checked to see if our monkey was touching the banana. Today we're going to do two different checks in our forever loop. So we're going to do two, two different ifs. So we'll grab an if statement mm -hmm. and we'll drop it in. So we'll say if, and then we got that diamond shape again. So grab it and mm -hmm. drop it oh. in underneath your move. And the diamonds are in sensing, so we'll need that touching move. Oh, oops. Dada, we'll need the touching color because of the diamond. That's right. So I'm just going to get that and then click it straight into my if. Mm -hmm. So if you guys would like, you can go ahead and click the touching color, which is in sensing like into your if statement. So watch I this. Did, I remember what I did, but I'm just going to let you do it. You tap this one and then you go tap the color on the island. High five, Quinn. You got that it. One. So you tap your color, you tap the dropper, just like Quinn said, and then tap the island. And then it's, it picks that color exactly for exactly, you. Exactly, because if you have the wrong color, it won't do it. High That's five. very smart. Thank you, Quinn. So there we go. So we say if we're touching the green, then we want, we're going to have our boat say something. So we're going to go under looks. Oops. And there's a block there that says say hello for two seconds. I'm going to pick up the say hello for two seconds. And I'm going to say some sort of pirate thing that says, I'm going to have it say yar. He sunk me ship. There you go. If you don't know how to speak pirate, that's okay. You can just say, oh, the boat sunk. I put a lot of escalation to work. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have a challenge for you guys. I want to see if you can solve it. Um, I want you to build another if block just like that one. And I want you to detect if the boat runs into the yellow gold. And if it does, I want you to say something like, you found me loot. Okay, go for it. Who can? Who's gonna walk us through how to do it? So what? Do you, what was the question really? I didn't really understand the question. So we just built an if block yeah. that checks to see if it's touching the green color, and if it is, uh, then it says "Yar, you sunk me ship" for two seconds. So can you build one that that checks? All right. So I think you guys got it there. Here we go. So I'm gonna do mine as well. I'm gonna drop another if statement below. Be careful not to drop it inside. It has to go below because you can't both be touching the green and the yellow at the same time, probably. So, oh, so you still, it's it has still to be still below. It still has to be in the forever loop. You're checking for it forever. And we're going to say sensing if is touching color. So you'll just drag that into And the then right use the dropper thing. again. Daddy, grab the yellow color. We're going to go to looks and say something for two seconds. We're going to have it say, you found me loot. For two seconds. Let's check to make sure this works. Here we go. I push my flag. Is it S-U-R? And I hit the green and it says, Yar, you sunk me ship. And it's going to just keep on running into the thing until I move my mouse around. Let's see. And it doesn't stop. Yar, you sunk me ship. Oh, I crashed it again. You found me loot. There we go. So mine's working. I'm going to push my stop button. Mine's still Daddy, how do you make it? Yeah. Daddy, how do you make it go say things out loud? I'm going to show you that now. So Quinn has a great uh, question. He wants to know, how can we make our boat um, have a pirate voice and not just have a, a speech bubble? So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we've clicked on our sailboat. Okay, clicking. Oh, and you can that. see at the top we have code. 
costumes, and sounds. Okay. I'm going to click on sounds. Okay. I don't know if this works on the iPad, so I'm about to find out. I'm going to throw the pop sound in the garbage by pushing the trash bin. Like then you delete that. I'm going to push at the bottom. There's a little speaker with a plus. Yes. I'm going to push that. And then, and then there's a microphone. Now, when you push this, it's really important. Your web browser will ask if it can use your microphone. Okay. And so I'm going to say allow. And you guys need to say allow if it asks as well. You go ahead and push. Then I push record and I'm just going to say one thing. I'm going to say, you sunk me ship, you scurvy dog. That's how pirates talk. So then I'm going to drag these little things. The big part of the waveform is the part we want. I can push play to hear it back. You sunk me ship, you scurvy dog. And then I'm going to say save. I'm going to push my plus, my microphone again. I'm going to say allow again. I'm going to hit record again. You found me gold. You found me treasure. Okay, so now we have two recordings. I have one called Recording 1 and Recording 2. Those aren't good names. So I'm going to click on Recording 1. Recording 1 was Sunk the Ship, so I'm just going to change the word Recording 1 to Sunk. Then I'm going to click on Recording 2. I'm going to click and change its name to Gold. So I've got Sunk and Gold. I can listen to them back by pushing this. You found me gold! All right. How do you find... Oh, uh -huh. We found me treasure! Okay, so then I'm gonna hit code. All right. And I want, after it, after it s says the speech bubbles, I want it to say the sound. So I'm gonna click on sound. Sound? And under sound, I'm gonna pick up the one that says play sound gold until done. I'm gonna drop that one under the you found me loot. Okay, under the good where one where it find, runs into yeah, the yellow. Where? Okay, and then we pick up another block, the same one that says play sound gold until done, and drop it under the other one, but this time click where it says gold and choose sunk. So now it'll play the sunk sound. The last thing we want to happen is, remember we wrote our subroutine at the start called start? We want our boat to go back to the start after it runs... After it runs into the gold or the island, we want it to go back to the start with our subroutine. So I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna click on my blocks, grab my start block, I'm gonna drop that after it plays the sound sunk, I'm gonna have it go back to the start, I'm gonna do the same thing with my treasure, I'm gonna have it go back to the start. And then I have my working game, okay? I'll push my flag, it'll go back, it'll sail around, if I crash it in, it'll Yarr. sail. You sunk me sunk ship, you ship. scurvy dog! And then let's see, I'll have it get the gold. Yaris, you sunk me ship, you dirty downer. <laughs> you found me gold! There we go. Yeah. All right, we hope you had a fun time. Say bye. 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 Have fun coding.